brainstorming event this morning. We had, we had a lot of really good, we had people coming in with a perspective of the work they've done over the past few years, meeting each other and saying, oh, we can all work together in a different way to change policy as well as just technical implementation. And it was really nice to see people feel the strength of the community in the room to make, to make societal change happen. One of the things that I found most inspiring was uh, Joey's keynote this morning and, and kind of his call to the community to really think of ourselves as innovators and that innovation happens on the fringes. Um, and I thought that was interesting because a lot of the discussion this year is driven around scaling up uh, assessment, but assessment of particular things that are easy to assess, that are computable. And I think Joey really kind of moved our thinking in a different direction there to say, you know, start looking at places that don't look like universities, that don't look like schools, and see how people learn in kindergartens or before kindergartens. Or when he's a diving instructor. You know, how do people learn diving? And then feel inspired by that and bring a sense of openness to allow those kinds of ideas to come into your work and your institutions. And I think that was very inspiring. Uh, there were some interesting things I found about the challenges presented during the conference is how to help um, teachers effectively implement all the OER resources out there. So we can create really high quality OER resources, but that um, transition to having the teachers use them in very effective ways and helping them um, participate in the innovation of how they're being used, uh, I just find it very intriguing and interesting interesting conversations that we've had here at the Berkman Center regarding open education resources is the, a discussion which centered around uh, a um, Leonard Cohen lyric, uh, there's a crack in everything, um, that's where the light comes in, and we've been talking about what are the current cracks in the current educational system, whether it's uh, assisted by OER, whether it's traditional or, or formal education or whether it's informal education, and whether it's here in uh, the U.S. or North America or globally. And we've come up with a fairly interesting inventory of all of the, what are sometimes called pain points within current education systems. And in every case, we've determined some way in which the uh, network community, the open education system, the open education resources and the community that uh, has gathered around it can address those cracks or those uh, broken bits of the current education system. The things we were discussing in our cluster was that although people are quick to criticize our education system, uh, we're not that bad. Uh, in fact, we encourage creativity uh, and project-based learning probably better than a lot of other countries. And one of the things we wanted to do is frame the discussion slightly in a more positive way. Uh, if you feel like you're losing the fight, uh, it takes the, uh, I guess, enthusiasm out. So one of the things we wanted to do is focus on the best that we do in education, particularly in America, and make it even better. I think what I found most interesting um, about today is that there, there's clearly some inherent tensions uh, in, um, in, in what we're all doing. Uh, there's the tension between individual teachers wanting um, uh, creativity and, uh, and the ability to uh, build their own courses and express themselves through those course materials, etc. Um, and that's in direct uh, attention with wanting turnkey solutions that don't require a lot of time. Um, uh, there's there's uh, this tension between innovation that happens at the margins and uh, the fact that unless we influence at uh, the core and the mainstream, uh, we, we could be largely irrelevant. So I think one of my takeaways is that sometimes we spend time talking about things we don't really need to. Uh, I think at the end of the day, innovation happens at the margins and it's critical to influence the center. And um, some, this isn't a central command and control kind of movement, it's a movement. And so uh, some efforts of, of OER organizations uh, will ultimately be important for innovators at the margins and that'll ultimately create pull on the center and other OER efforts are going to directly try to be turnkey at the mainstream and, and affect behavior there and move from the center to the, to, the, to the core. And I don't know that we need to decide whether one's better than the other. I think uh, uh, what's really essential is we, we're all effective at the, at the approaches we take and at the work that we're trying to do.